Yeah, Sunday, 13th November. And Jerry have one of those days where right off the start, things go to crap. Well, I had one of them today. I come up here to drop my ramps off inside the little building for going up to the farm and getting a truckload of stuff. And my deadbolt. Let me show you. My deadbolt to secure the building bit the dust in a locked position. And that pretty well blew. And it took me about 30 minutes to get into the building. I finally did. I said, well, just go down and get another deadbolt. Ain't no big deal. Huh? Deadbolt don't fit. I had to grind out the opening in the door. You can't use a hole saw on a hole. There's no way to center it. And three hours later, I got a deadbolt installed. But on this deadbolt, it has to be bolt out to get the damn key out. I ain't never seen nothing like that. He didn't say that on the package. But I'll be able to secure the building until I get the locksmith up here with a good commercial lock. Uh, it's time gun now. So anyway, about five hours later, I finally got the ramps out of my truck. Here's what I wanted them for. I wanted to get my little yam bar into the storage container, shipping container, and I got nothing to hook the ramps to. So it was a coin toss whether or not I'm going to die. But they actually worked. Uh, there's enough grip and they're long enough that the tractor's on the ramp before the front tires come off into the trailer cube. Uh, so they didn't get squirrely on me and try to shoot out from underneath. Um, so yes, the Anmar does fit in the shipping container. I have room for the ramps on the left side of the tractor to slide them down that wall. And I still have some storage area over here. Uh, these automotive series ramps probably go to the scrapyard. I never use those. They're dangerous as hell. Yeah, it's real easy to drive off front of it if you ain't got somebody to help you. So they're useless to me. Uh, yeah. So this day shot to hell. Too late to go to the farm. I can need to work on the door. It's real hard to get the lock on. I got a plan. So I'll work on that while I'm up here. It's a 30 minute job on a bad day. Um, I was like, man, I had such a plan for today. I rested yesterday. I should have worked. Yeah, but I decided to rest instead. So that blew it today all the hell. Yeah. Poop happens. Uh, bought a little three-step ladder and the top step is a platform you can stand on. $29 at uh, Home Depot. Believe it or not, I need it. Put gasoline in the hole bar. Otherwise, you're holding a gas can chest high and you can't see down the hole and you might overfill it. Not that I've ever done that, but it could happen. Uh, bright sunshiny day that cold front blew in got down to uh, 28 degrees last night uh, it's supposed to warm back up above freezing the rest of the week so once I get the plumber out here to fiddle with that get the locksmith out here put on a commercial grade deadbolt then I'll be able to go up to the farm and it'll be time to drain the well so I'll take care of that uh, Lots and lots of rain, and this is the driest this building's ever been. So I'm getting there. But looked at the process for leveling the floor. Uh, it's definitely a process. I'm gonna think on that. That's about a three or four person job, which means I have to get help. And like I said, I don't want to hire nobody. I am done with employees. I asked somebody to shoot me a price on doing it. Oh, this four or five thousand dollars, screw it. 
I ain't gonna do it. If it's reasonable, I'll consider it. But, but anyway, before I do anything, I have to fill the troughs in, both of them, and get my plumbing fixed and fill that hole back in with concrete. So I got I got plenty to do shit. But yeah, uh, this day did not work out as planned. So I'm gonna sit here and drink some coffee and think about it. That's all for this one. Thank you.